Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about BI class in Selenium. So, BI is a specially designed class in Selenium. So, BI is an abstract class. By using BI class, we can locate the elements within a document. That is, by using BI class, we can identify, we can locate the elements. Now, all methods are implemented in this by class all static that is all methods are static so we can access through all these methods using class name now see here let me write the pseudo code for it public class so it is an abstract class public abstract class and by so this by class is a specially designed class to identify to locate the elements within a document that is we can find or we can identify the elements by using this by class so this by class is having total eight uh, static methods and it is having total eight static inner classes so people who don't know about this uh, outer class and inner classes mechanism and uh, when do we declare a class as a abstract when do we declare a method as a static Please watch my previous video so that you can get very easily. Now, so this method, this class is having one method is a public static by ID. So all these methods are used to locate the elements. And one more method is a total this class is having eight methods and eight inner classes by CSS selector string css by export string export and it is having by name it is having string name and by class name so parameter is string class name so one by one we'll talk and by link text by partial link text string some text by tag name string tag name. now see here totally how many methods are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so public static by id it seems like uh, this method is running what is a class type yes so we know right factory method design pattern whenever we call a method if that method returns same as uh, class type such kind of methods we can call as factory method design patterns just watch my previous videos about design patterns we can read what exactly it is right now so this class is having to locate the elements this by class is having how many methods eight methods plus uh, this by class is having eight static inner classes that is um, public static by id extends uh, by now this inner classes uh, this inner class is having one method called of element find the element by by and it is having one more element uh, list of element find elements close this class now see here so by is an outer class so by is an outer class this by outer class is having eight static inner classes so like by id is one static inner class each static inner class is having three methods implementations are there i'm not writing implementations public Mm -hmm. 
two string method so each inner class is having three methods one is uh, find element method one more is find elements method one more is two string method two string method so this find element to find elements method two string method is from two string method is from object to class and this find elements and find element from this uh, outer by class in outer by class so we de they declared this find element and find elements as a abstract methods now so still how many classes we are having ante abstract class is having eight inner class one is by id just now we saw this by id inner class is also having three methods find element find elements two string method now by x path one more class inner class this by x path is also having three methods now by css selector this inner class also is having three methods same like public static by id extends by like a public static by x path extends by and public static by css selector extends a by class so by by tag name this is one more inner class by link text one more inner class by partial link text is one more inner class by class name one more inner class by name one more inner class like uh, total how many inner classes we are having eight inner class is having one two three four five six seven eight so here by is an outer class by is an outer class and this by outer class is having eight static methods as a part of this outer class and this by outer class is having eight inner classes one is by id by x path by css selector by tag name by link text by partial link text by class name and by name each inner class each inner class is having how many implemented methods three methods three overdone methods one is a find element one more is find element method one more is two string method so this find element find element method is overridden from this by class and this two string method is overridden of object class two string method right now see here so just now i told why we declared this by class as a abstract so here he is restricting object to creation of this class that's why they declare this class as a what abstract and here he is just providing the axis but he don't want to change the behavior of this methods that's why he declared the methods as a what static as we know that whenever we declare the methods as a static we cannot perform overriding and when we try to create the object when we try to change the behavior even it is not possible because they declared this by class as a abstract so simple so what i want to let you know here is by is an out by is a specially designed class which is used to, to work with uh, to locating the element that is to work with locating mechanism selenium introduced uh, a, a pre, selenium have a predefined class called by class so this by class is having eight uh, outer static methods and eight uh, inner static classes each inner static class is having three methods right now now see here let me write a sample example on this see here let me write a sample example so how we can use it uh, right click just observe here what i am doing new class just see the output forget about how it is happening we will talk anyhow now let me write the main method and here i am writing web driver so how to launch the browsers and all those things we'll talk in next videos or z equal to new firefox driver firefox driver now see here driver dot get off so i'm entering url here https colon double slash www dot gmail dot com gmail dot com now in this gmail page i want to identify the username web element web driver dot find so this method always asks you how you want to find the element to find the element to work with the locate mechanism this find element method is expecting what is an argument are you seeing here by so by 
by how you want to find by idea by name by x path by css how by idea i'm writing as of now identif it is having identifier id i'm not doing any validation pre and post just i'm writing dummy code here so send keys here i'm writing from a soft dot selenium now see here what happens so when i run this program first firefox browser is going to be launches and the object is going to be initialized actually whenever we write this line what happens browser is going to be i mean firefox driver object is going to be created as a part of this firefox driver constructor i mean as a part of this firefox driver class so in firefox driver class we have a constructor called default constructor inside the default constructor the initialize to pick to to launch the what firefox browser so firefox binary is going to be automatically loaded as a part of firefox driver class constructor and then uh, once the browser is launched uh, into the browser it is going to enter gmail.com and in gmail page our web driver engine is going to identify in the dom is there any element uh, which is having id is equal to identifier id yes sir uh, on that element we are entering what some send keys so technically more technically we'll talk in coming video next video we'll talk just i'm doing introduction that check see here what happens so browser is going to be launched and url is entering and then it is going to check the element yes it identify and then it is running what element so how we are going to identify the elements by using what by so this by is a specially designed class to work with what locator mechanism so to locate the elements we have eight uh, eight outer class static methods i mean eight static methods are there as a part of by outer class and eight static inner classes is there by using that inner class also we can work out with what we can identify the elements now see here the same line i am doing with the inner class mechanism see here web driver more technical will talk in coming videos web driver dot find element by dot term. again i am not writing with id now now by by id this is a here this by is outer class this by is inner class into this uh, i want to go with what id now what is the id here it is identifier id if you want to can on this if you want to can perform dot send keys here enter you can enter this value right if you don't want like this on in a single line i want to, i don't want to identify the element and on the and that i on that element i don't want to perform the action when you have such kind of requirement then do it in this way see here what i am doing so with this line what happens it is going to identify is there any web element in that web page with id is equal to identifier id so if any element is there it identifies and it returns what that element in the form of web element and if we are having more than one uh, id in the web page it identifies all the elements find element method identifies all the elements but it returns first identified element now on that username i want to clear it i want to do the action dot send keys if you want to can write in that way if you want to can write in this way no problem at all so just watch my previous video what's different between find elements and find elements what is search and they explain what is find element in detail now let me run it right click run as java application yes see here as action is done or not yes it means uh, if you want here i am identifying the element with what outer by class here i am identifying the web element with what inner class so if you want to can use this mechanism is correct and if you want to can use this mechanism right so this is about uh, introduction of by class okay and their inner classes so thanks for watching the video have a good day thank you so much